All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about another game here from the NCAA tournament. First round today, well, technically today, on the East Coast now that it's uh, Sunday, we'll have second round action, but I'm here to talk about, um, I'll do two more games tonight, here tonight, Grand Canyon and St. Mary's when that goes final, but I'm here to talk about this 12-5 matchup. Number 12, James Madison beats number 5, Wisconsin, 72-61 reaction. I saw people like, oh, this is an upset. This really isn't an upset. Tummy! This really isn't an upset, because I thought James Max was the better team. I thought they were very undersated. Had this game a 31-3 and record. Won their conference. Uh, again, a 12 seed. They were very, they were under, undersated. Wisconsin, I, I thought was overseated. They really shouldn't have been a 5 seed. They were very fraudulent, a uh, 5 seed. Even when they got to number 6 in the country, I, I just wasn't so in Wisconsin. And even when they were going that cold streak, they lost a few games in a row. Even when they beat Purdue, I'm, I just wasn't sold on Wisconsin. I don't know how they got a five seed. And JMU is very underseeded. Don't let the record or the uh, seeding fool you. Uh, don't let the seed fool you. A 12 seed beside James Madison's name. They're way better than a 12 seed. And they were just simply the better team. Uh, of these two teams tonight, just simply the better team. And... They led wire to wire. They uh, they never trailed uh, in this basketball game. A hot start, and they never really cooled off. Wisconsin tried to make a few runs, but they could just never really get it closer than six points. And the five twelve upset strikes again. It just always happens with the five twelve. And it's not really an upset because Jamie was the better team. And I've been watching the keeping up with James Madison and the Dukes all year. They all it takes to make a deep run. They're a great, great team. And they beat number four ranked Michigan State at the start of the year, and a and a Wisconsin team who beat who beat uh, the best team in the country, who's beat the best team in the country, debatably could be Purdue. So I mean, these are, Jamie's not a bad team. I know people are like, oh yeah, look who they beat this year. Does it really matter at this point heading to the tournament? That's why people are like throughout the year, oh look who James Madison have they beat really anybody that good? They were favored to win their conference start of the year. They ended up winning it, and now they've made it to uh, the second round. They really just cut this whole game. It's not upset. Crazy how if they lost the Sun Belt Championship, this wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. But luckily, they won it, and then they end up winning this game. Not upset if you watched Jace Madison all season. Some people probably have it. It's just the versatility of Julian Wooden and JT Baker and TJ Bakerstaff on the road to the bucket to the bucket have given Wisconsin Bigs nightmares. So many nice pocket passes and disgusting stuff from anyone outside placement for Wisconsin. The offense just was not good tonight. Uh, for the Badgers. At least Tommy But this is March. This is March, and now we're going to get the Dukes versus Duke in the next round. Wisconsin felt like a cupcake draw. And Wisconsin was 1 and 11 with trailing at half 1 and 12. Just, Wisconsin was just never that great this year, and somebody ended up with a 5 seed. Uh, really just a great team effort uh, from James Madison tonight. Uh, Terrence Edwards Jr., 14 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, J TJ Bakerstaff, 12 points, 9 rebounds. Julian Wooden, 12 points, 3 rebounds. Uh, Noah Friedel, uh, 8.3 assists. Hit a huge 3 when it's 52-46. There's a missed layup. Wisconsin had momentum. Missed layup. James Madison goes down. Friedel, 3. That was a huge momentum swing, I thought, in this basketball game. Wisconsin got the lead down, could have got to four, missed the layup. Then they gave the three on the other end. Uh, Xavier Brown, five, five points, four rebounds. Uh, Raekwon Horton, eight points, seven rebounds. Uh, Michael Green, 11 points, three assists, hit three threes. Uh, Jalen Carey, two points, six rebounds, played some solid minutes. He's really played excellent this year. He's really come along faster probably than James Madison thought they, thought he would. He's played excellent. But a whole, really a whole team effort here. Four players in double figures. Uh, for James Madison, shot 41.1% from the field, 5 of 17, 25% from threes, 70 from the line, out-rebounded them by two, 
Plus, down the offensive glass, even on the defensive glass, 19 turnovers for Wisconsin. That was really the main problem for Wisconsin, 19 turnovers. Also, only shooting 37 from the floor, 38 from 3, 65 from the line, didn't shoot well. Just really all three aspects, uh, just didn't shoot well. And then the 19 turnovers really hurt them. <laughs> uh, Klaesman, uh 18 points, 2 assists, 4 rebounds. I just don't understand how that Klaesman layup didn't go in right there. It just hung on the rim, didn't go in. He gets asked to defend the opponent's best player, knock down perimeter shots, create his own shots off the dribble, be the primary ball handler against pressure, and his team has seen him do all of this and still choose to play in uninspired, unfocused basketball. Like, Claysmo was the only one doing anything in that second half. He caught fire in the second half, but this was just a bad matchup for Wisconsin. Uh, Tyler Wall, 5 points, 3 assists, uh, 7 rebounds. Uh, 6 of 16 and 9 layups was bad. 6 of 16 cost... Uh, them as well. He was terrible all year. Big waste of space it felt like from around the court. I don't know. It's low ceiling coach is Greg Ward. So He's just not a good coach. Can't, he can't even get past the second week anymore. Hepburn, 8 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds. Crowell, 10 points, 2 assists, 11 rebounds. AJ Stewart, 13 points. McGee, 3 points. Blackwell, 4 points. Just The turnovers were an issue for Wisconsin, honestly. And JMU, with that big first half, had scored him 33-20. And just hit clutch shot after clutch shot when Wisconsin tried to make a few runs. So, yeah, Wisconsin uh, loses 72-61. This really doesn't count as, really as an upset. I guess seeding-wise it does. doesn't really feel like an upset. But that probably should be Greg Ward's final game as a Badger head coach. I mean, yeah, he had a good year. But if he can't, if he can't get you past the second weekend or the first weekend, then, yeah, he might, you might just have to get rid of him at this point. But... That's really all I have to say for this game. Uh, next, the final recap of the night will be Grand Canyon St. Mary's. I'll see you here soon. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.